Jake Peralta. I am unarmed, and I'm approaching the building. You wanted to talk to me? Keep those hands in the air. Now wave them like you just don't care. What? I'm just messing with you, Peralta. Put your hands down. Give me a hug, baby. Judy! No, we gotta go right now. Go, go, go. NYPD! NYPD, nobody move! Yes! Don't need help. Behind you! Bye bye, Peralta. Here's your GPS. No! I gotcha. Yeah, you did. But your boy Tito's getting away. Damn it! Damn you, Duck Judy! I'll never forget you, Dante Thunderstone! Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, but especially ladies. I know that voice. Get ready. It's time for some smush songs. Ah, <gasps> Doug Judy, the Pontiac Bandit. He's here. We got songs about smushing, songs for smushing too, songs for the kids. This is the All Ages Piano Lounge. I can't believe he's here. I've been hunting him for years, and now fate has dropped him right into my lap. He's going to be so surprised when he sees me. Hey, Peralta, you made it. Doug Judy, the Pontiac Bandit. Hey, babe. Nice legs. Why are you in your boxes? So you would know I'm not wearing a wire. Your buddy Scott said I had to. Oh, that makes sense. Scott's a perv. Hey, Scott, wherever you're watching from, go home. Sorry, man. So what's so important? I'm looking for your foster brother, George. I hate the guy. Stole from my mom, burned our house down. Worst of all, he ran off with my LP of Phil Collins, No Jacket Required. It's my favorite album. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, a lot of room for uh, I like that. I thought you would. Doug and Jake rolling down the street. PB and Jay, a tasty little treat. Two cool dudes making sandals for your feet. What? I was going for the rhyme, but now I kind of feel like it's a good idea. Love it. Making sandals that last is our ideology. Made real by our patented strapless technology. It's magnets. Ooh, okay. Yo. You can wear them on the beach. Wear them on a hike. Wear them on a Peloton exercise bike. Doug and Jake, two best friends. Put the premium over those shoes for men. Surprise! Trudy, Judy, what you doing here? I thought you were in prison. No, nope, I was a real sweet piece, so they let me out for good behavior. What the hell? What's this narc doing here? What? No. <laughs> NYPD down, down. Hands are in. Gotcha, Pontiac Bandit. Where's Doug Judy? He went to the bathroom. I'm just here to give him a haircut. I don't know what's going on. A likely story, Pontiac, but actually you do have a lot of hair products. He's gone. He ran. Why would he do that? He helped us catch the Pontiac Bandit. That was the deal. Doesn't make any sense unless Doug Judy is the Pontiac Bandit. Put out an APB. Seal up everything for a 20 block radius. Yeah, don't bother looking for me. I'm in the wind. If you're close enough for me to hear you, you're close enough for me to catch you. Nah, I got a relay set up, brother. So if you're the Pontiac Bandit, who's this joker? A couple of years ago, you were getting really close. So I started telling all my associates, if they ever got caught, they should describe me as Asian dude, 5'8", spiky hair. Wears diamond earrings and has a British accent. So then you hired a guy who matched that exact description. No, 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 no. That's my barber, Norman Lee. He gave me the idea. You know, if you can't come in, I do house calls. You just text me a location, and I could be there in half an hour. Good to know. You know, you should actually use him while he's there. He'll give you a dope fade. I get to open up fades for my current barber, thank you. So you dragged us over here, went in there, pretended to talk, and then snuck out the basement, am I right? The basement connected to another basement, which connected to a garage, which is where my boy picked me up. Your boy? Oh, that guy from the meetup. He works for you. He pretended to be spooked by me and Diaz in the parking lot to make sure that we let you go to the next meeting by yourself. Ding, 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 ding! You win a teddy bear! If you lied to me, Doug Judy, gotta be honest, I'm pretty disappointed right now. I mean, was that even really your mom? Hell yeah, that's my real mom. I wanted to see her one last time before I disappeared. I told you I was sensitive, Rosa. Yeah, you did. Why don't you come back here and take me out to dinner? Ah, <laughs> I know you're trying to trap me, but crazy thing is, I'm tempted! That's how hot I find you. Sorry I had to go down this way, Peralta. Maybe we could have been friends in another world if I hadn't just fooled you like a little bitch. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Doug 
Judy, you're under arrest. Put your hands in the air. Hey, Rosa, Merry Christmas, girl. Rosa, 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 Rosa. It's so crowded in here. The girl and the lighting is way too sexy to see anything. Come on. Okay. Right there on the floor is the man you're looking for. He's right in front of you. A little bit to the left. My left, my left, my left, my left. Come on this way. He's in a red shirt. No, not the Asian dude. I'm talking about a bright red shirt. That's the man you're looking for. That's the man you've been looking for. I got him. Follow this is me. Still a love song, yeah. people. Come on. This is still a love song. Where'd he go? Well, that ends my show all of a sudden. You've been a great crowd. Thank you very much. Think of me when you smush. Dougie! Oh, my beautiful boy. <laughs> well, shouldn't you be at work? No, I'm too busy to see my mama. Oh. Mama, this is my girlfriend, Rosa. And this is my personal assistant, Mangy Carl. Ah, it's nice to meet you. You can just call me Carl. Mangy Carl used to be a homeless gentleman. I work with a charity that finds jobs for down under luck white people. Oh. He's just a big old angel. He's been so good to the whites. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. Sky. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Slurp, slurp, Peralta. Slurp, slurp. Why'd your sister say he was a narc? Is he a cop? He's not a cop. He caught me cheating on my boyfriend and he snitched. It was a real dick move, but I have since forgiven him. It's just weird that none of us have ever heard of him before. And we're paranoid because Doug still has that cop friend in the NYPD. Dude is not my friend. Yeah. He dumb as hell. Yeah. I'm always tricking him. Well, not every time. Plus, he's short. Everyone's short to you. You're a giant. He probably never even had sex. Seems unlikely he's an adult, but the point is I'm Sean, tall Sean. OK. Well, I'm glad to hear you're not an art. Because it would have been real awkward considering what we did earlier. Huh? While you were checking in, we stole $10 million worth of diamonds from that rich Russian dude in the penthouse. Ah. Bling, bling, baby. You idiots. He's NYPD. That's Doug's cop friend. That's the sound of the police. That's the sound that I That's the sound that I No, no, no. He's not a cop. He can't be wearing any of this. It's just a windbreaker. It's not like I gave him a badge and a gun. Oh, he has both of those things. It's not loaded. I just want a cock and say a cool cop catchphrase. New York's finest just got a whole lot finer. Give me that. Uh, I'm putting myself on this case. All right, Captain. Looks like New York's finest. Just got a whole lot. Let's go. All right. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. There he is. Halloway, it's your day. What's up, Miss Halloway? How you doing? Shut up. Give me the diamonds. Man, I guess the no small talk policy starts at the top. Come on, come on, come on. Peralta! No, 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 not now. I tracked your phone, idiot. <laughs> Judy wasn't lying. That's Halloway. We got to arrest him. Jake, he's running. Come on, man. Only if I get the caller and 100% of the credit. Are you negotiating right now? Always. OK, that was actually a really cool thing to say. All right, let's do it. Judy, stay here. OK. Stop! <laughs> Sorry I ran out on you at the jewelry store. I just couldn't let this guy get away. All right, let's bring in Doug Judy. Oh, no! Where is he? Doug? Don't worry, we'll get him. At least we have Holloway and the diamonds. Doug! Wait, why are you still calling for him? Doug! Oh, my god, he has the diamonds, doesn't he? I don't understand. How did this happen? Remember when I switched out your contacts? I also changed the destination of your GPS. So we've been driving to the wrong place this whole time? Everything else was just a distraction? I wanted you to focus on the journey, not the destination. Oh. Yeah, got that from you. Judy, you get in the SUV. I'll take care of the cop. What do you mean, take care of him? Shoot him in the face. What? Doug, who are these guys? I don't know. Look, I'm just after Doug. That's it. You can let us do what you hired us to do, or you can join your buddy in a ditch. <laughs> Fair enough. Enjoy the ditch, Jake. Bye, Peralta. Thanks for saving my life. No. Judy! Don't do this! No, not again! Judy! Judy! I guess Rosa was right. I'm a scorpion. Scorpion's gonna scorp. I'm sorry I can't be the man you want me to be. Damn it, stop being so romantic. Now turn around and come back to me, you fool. Hello? Hello? He's gone. He broke my heart. Now's the time where you tell me everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. You don't know that, Rosa! Hey, so I checked again. Doug Judy still hasn't surfaced. Yeah, he has. 
He just sent me this. What's up, Peralta? About my escape. This is my associate, Kyle. He drove the garbage truck. You may also remember him as the room service waiter I had you tip so generously. Son of a bitch. NYPD, don't move! <laughs> Our crap, he's getting away! No, 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 no! All right, we can run right through it. These suits are fire resistant. These suits are not fire resistant. They're not? Then why are they so expensive? Bye, Peralta! No! Judy! Both Judy's! Judy's! We're spending the rest of this trip in your cabin. Amy and I will take sleep shifts to make sure someone's always watching you. Thank you. It makes me feel super safe. And if you want to smush, I have a sleep mask and noise canceling headphones. Can't we just lock him up in there? Do we really have to trade off sleep for the next six nights? I know, I'm sorry. But he did say that he'd wear a mask if we want to smush. Fine, I get it. He's the Pontiac Bandit. You take the first shift. Thank you so much. You're the best. Hey, NYPD, let him go! Now do you believe me? That guy was trying to kill me. All right, fine, someone wants you dead. You win. Hey! Hey there, friends. I tried to flag down your taxi as you were leaving the police station. It was actually funny because we made a lot of eye contact, but you just drove off. Anyways, I'm here now. We can go. You want us to take you back to New York after you got my friends arrested? Nuh-uh. You flying commercial, son. I hope you get a middle seat. If they charge you for your carry on I hope you sit next to someone chatting. Someone going through something real hard. I hope the pilot makes an announcement during the emotional climax of the movie you're watching. Ooh, you nasty. Damn, Doug and Trudy Judy. Sick. Disgusting. Doug. Trudy. Judy's. You'll never get away from me, Judy! I can't hear what you're saying. You're real far away. I'll just assume you're finally admitting we're best friends. No, that is not what I'm saying! Thank you. It means a lot to me. Enjoy the rest of your crew. Just remember, you got a five lady. Don't be a tang in the mud. Check your pockets. Boom, boom, stay room, baby! Awesome. But this isn't over! I will hunt you to the ends of the earth! I love you, too. I'm so proud of us for being able to say it. What are you still standing there for? Go smush! Judy! No! Now we wait. Now we wait. <clears throat> kind of weird. Sitting silently in a private karaoke room, not singing. Yeah, but we're on a mission, so, you know, gotta stay focused. True, 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 true. So I wake in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I scream at the top of my lungs, what's going on? Uh-oh, the way. Yep. The drop is set for 5 p.m. Let's do this. Totally. Although, that is an hour and a half from now. And the drop point is actually pretty close to here. So. so... Then I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosa, 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 Rosa. I can't think of your last name, baby. Enough crooning. Can you get us a face-to-face, -face, Ruiz? Yeah, but you gotta give me zero jail time. No, that's not gonna happen. Ha <laughs> ha, stupid Judy. The DA, however, will offer a reduced sentence in return for Ruiz's arrest. Five years instead of 20. Oh, that's tough, but fair. I can see why you have such intense daddy stuff with him. Oh, yeah, the guy without a daddy is the one with daddy issues. <laughs> Explain that logic. Since I'm going to jail, I wanna enjoy my time left on the outside. Put me up in a five-star hotel like the Royce, Unlimited room service and minibar privileges. Three-star hotel, like the Brooklyner. $60 a day meal allowance, no minibar. Four-star hotel, like the Oneida. 200 in food, no minibar or alcohol, but I get to go crazy on candy and nuts. Agreed. Ow! Oh, one last thing. Diaz has to be nice to me. I want her to call me Big Sugar. Ta! <laughs> Huge mistake, bud. She'll never agree to that. No, I'm in. Let's do this, Big Sugar. Uh. What? All right, fine, if this is going down, I want to be on this case. And my sole focus is Doug Judy. He never leaves my sights. Love it! Pontiac Bandit and Jake, PB and J, ride again. Reunited, and it feels so good. So do I get on this 
Reunited, cause we understood. No, no. Hey, what's going on? Why didn't you tell me you were in jail? Did you not want me to find out who arrested you? Is there another cop in your life? No, none of these pigs mean jack to me. No offense, Evan, you've been great this week. I don't understand. I thought you went straight. I did. A guy rear-ended me, and the cop showed up. Turns out I had a warrant out for my arrest. But we wiped your criminal record. You wiped my New York record. I stole a car in Trenton five years ago. Well, you still should have called me. I could have helped you out. Wouldn't have mattered. There's a lot of evidence against me. I left a picture of me at the scene of the crime with a note bragging about how I did it. Ah. And move me to Southwoods Prison tomorrow. Tomorrow? I know. But you know what really bonds me out? I had no warning. Only wish I had known it was going to happen so I could have had one last moment of joy before I get taken to jail. But alas, tis not to be. Wait a minute. What if it tis to be? What if I drive you to prison? We could have one more adventure. Honestly, Jake, I don't see how it's possible to have fun on a trip to prison. Yeah, it sucks. But I don't know, maybe for just a few hours, you could focus on the journey and not the destination. I'm taking your negotiator hostage. If you come in here, I will shoot him. Just do whatever he says. My life is in his hands. <sighs> that was so much fun. Oh, man, you sounded really scary. No, 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 it was all you. The tremble in your voice sold it. Just do whatever he wants. I just made that up. Oh, I was so in the moment. Dude, seriously, you are a great hostage. Thanks, Judy. You're a great hostage taker. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, yes, sir. sir. I'm so sorry, Doc. Miami PD! It's just those three back there. Hands on the table! Okay. Check what the hell! Cops always be capping. <laughs> Life is about choices, difficult choices, and sometimes now! All right, nobody move. Stay where you are. See you later, Thomas! I'll take the prisoner. Oh, can you actually give me one second? Thanks. Look, Doug, I'm sorry it's got to be like this. If you're mad at me, I get it. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at myself. I should never become friends with a cop. I mean, how do I expect this to end? Well, regardless, thanks for saving me back there with the Estelle Minderman thing. I'm not gonna let him hurt you, Jake. We're PB and J. We're PB and J. I want to hug you, but you're cuffed. You can hug me. Hello? Hey, Peranta. What's good? Hey, Doug. Are you OK? I wanted you to know, and I've been thinking about it a lot. I didn't mean what I said. I'm glad I met you. Sure, it ended badly, but we had some good times along the way, too. We went on a cruise together. We flew on Mark Cuban's jet. We ate at a restaurant next to Gail from Top Chef. Yeah, and then you got so mad at her about Last Chance Kitchen. I wasn't mad. I just think it's the same that they make you go online to watch it. The point is, I wouldn't trade those moments for anything. I'm choosing to focus on the journey. Wait a minute. What language is that? I don't know. Maybe Dutch. There's a lot of that in here. You know how active the Dutch Mafia is in Jersey? Judy. OK, fine. Surprise! I'm in Amsterdam. I escaped from prison. My wife and I are living a life here now. Amsterdam is great. Jake, they got universal health care, legalized marijuana, and the workers are treated so much better. But you know what the best part is? That you're a free man again. No. Stroop waffles. They're like these wait for cookies with caramel in between. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen those at Trader Joe's. Uh, well, look, I guess I'm happy that you're happy. Well, I owe it all to you. What do you mean? I think you know what I mean. Uh, nope. No idea. Really? Because after we hugged goodbye, I noticed your pin was in my pocket. Oh, that's weird. It was? Uh-huh. And then I used it to mind freak myself out of my cuffs and then out of jail. Well. And I guess it's certainly lucky that it ended up in your pocket. I wonder how it got there. Yeah, well, I guess we'll never know. Well, however it got there, I'm glad it did. I love you, Peralta. Love you too, Judy. Tigers and Tukes! Tigers and Tukes.